We all know the classic scammer. I had a whole series on it. I even made a video catching one in the act on camera. It's the first thing you probably think of when you think of a Nookazon scammer, and it's probably the reason why you're subscribed in the first place. For any of you who haven't experienced the absolute clownery of the classic scammer, allow me to describe the experience to you. First off, you find the person you want to trade with. Their profile may or may not be sus, that is just down to your own intuition, but regardless, you go and trade with them anyway. You arrive at their island and put down your money like an honourable, S-class player. Once you're finished putting down your last bag of bells, you make your way over to the cellar. But they're just standing there. Menacingly. They keep standing and standing, not saying a word until... They kick you off their island completely. You're flying back to your own island with no money and no ices. You have just been completely and utterly finessed, dunked on, may I say. They're slimy, they have no honour for the community, and they probably haven't touched grass since 2016. You basically trade with somebody, that being the sus or scammer, and you think the trade has gone nice and smoothly. You gave them the money, they gave you the item you wanted, it's all fine and dandy. Until they leave your islands. You're happy with the item they've given you. And you decide to go back to your house and put it in storage to use later. But just as you're on your way to your house, you see it. They've plucked your finest purple hyacinths. And have taken all of your spare DIYs without asking for permission to do so. Essentially you've been robbed and you can't report it to Copper or Booker because they're not in the game. It's basically the introverted version of the classic scammer, and honestly, I don't know what one's worse. Ah, huh, someone's selling 100 golden nuggets. Huh? They're selling it for free? That's... weird. But also cool, I wonder what that's about. Free Treasure Island, open R now. Nook Mile Ticket Island and more. Free Treasure Island, open now. Nook Mile Tickets, materials, villages, rare items, slash DIYs and more for free. Code in the server. Join us for amazing events like free giveaways 24 seven, fun daily events and contests. Get max bells on all 14 plus islands. Discord link. Everything listed is on all islands. I'm not joining it on Discord server, go away. <laughs> Subscribe and follow my socials. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> hey man, thanks for the item. Yeah, no problem man. Okay, see you later. Okay, bye. Man, I can't wait to see this. I'm so excited. I've been searching for this for the past year and a half. Someone's finally come back to me on this amazing item. I need to see it right now. It's the wrong colour! It's unclear whether these guys do this on purpose or whether it's an accident. I always used to give these guys the benefit of the doubts, but it's highly likely that this is a legitimate way of scamming people out of their items in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Whether it's intentional or not, feel free to debate about that in the comments down below. Here's a bit of a story time for you. This actually happened to me back when I was a nookers on addict. Disclaimer, this story isn't meant to shame anybody for their lack of knowledge of the English language. Um, honestly, if you're bilingual, hats off to you. I'm meant to be, but I'm not. I only know English, so hats off to you. Anyway, here's the story. So I'm just chilling, I'm trading on Nookazon. I can't remember if it was the Nookazon Discord server or if it was the actual website, but either way, it's affiliated with Nookazon. I'm crafting golden watering cans for people 
out of the goodness of my heart, I think I'm charging like one Nook Mile ticket. So I'm doing it for very cheap. Now this person DMs me and they're like, hey, I would like you to craft me a golden watering can. And I'm like, great, okay, it's one Nook Mile ticket and you have to bring your own materials. That's part of the deal. They're like, great, okay, I'm going to come to your island now. And I think nothing of it. They come to my island. And immediately they start speaking was it French or Spanish? I don't know. And they're like, habla no espanol or what? <laughs> habla no English. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, they're saying that they don't speak English. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's fine. Just give me the items. And they understand that. But they give me like, probably not even half of the items. I don't know what to do in that situation. I really can't be bothered to say, hey, you don't have the materials. I'm going to kick you out now. So I proceed to use my own materials to craft this rando, a golden watering can. At the time, I didn't think it was a scam, but looking back at it, that was indeed a scam. How are you going to speak English to me on Nukazon and then proceed to talk some foreign language and claim that you don't know English <laughs> on the actual game? Are you kidding me? Oh man, I've just spent a ton of bells on these mystery bags here. Apparently they have super rare items. I'm excited. This will really spruce up the place. So let's begin. The first item I have is... Uh, huh? Huh? What? What do you mean? I will never bid slash trade on any of these users' listings again. First time I've ever had to leave a bad review on Nukazon. Wasted my time. Initially they said they'd be available in 20 minutes. Asked me for a dodo code, so I asked to accept the offer. I provided the dodo code only for the user to say that their Nintendo Switch died and they couldn't come over anymore. Buyer beware. Had to cancel auction due to seller not being available to trade. I messaged right after the auction was done, heard nothing for hours, and when they wrote back, just saying well done, I asked for Dodo. Heard nothing until a day later, saying that they were offline, and then wrote to me today to say hello, and when I wrote back, they said they won't be available to trade until the weekend. Not a reliable trader, reviews speak for themselves. No follow through on auction 48 hours later. Try to message multiple times, including immediately after the auction ended. But the trader was offline the whole time. Cancelled free item offer after less than 10 minutes because they didn't want to give a dodo code and only had 10 minutes to trade when my status was set as busy. Do not recommend. Terrible communication and lagged on making trade would give zero stars if possible. This was all for the same person. Oh my goodness. Six million bells for 60 Nook Mile tickets. What is this? 25 Nook Mile tickets? Costing 1.5 million bells. 20 Nook Mile tickets for nearly 2 million bells. Why on earth is the fake beautiful statue the same price as the genuine one? Well, there's 10 genuine beautiful statues for free that they promote in the Discord server. Yes, they are. <laughs> Since the day I found Nugazon, I've always found it overpriced. The prices are inflated, but that's just the culture now of Nugazon and just trading in general, I think. It's the reason why people are obsessed with having millions and millions of bells. More bells than you would ever need in the base game of Animal Crossing. Trading is expensive. Humans are greedy. They want money. Even if it's fictional money, they will find any means necessary to get rich. In that case, since we all want millions and millions of bells and charge so much on these trading sites, Maybe we're the scammers. We were the scammers all along. Pablo no español. <laughs>